Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. In today's video we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price as usual. We're going to have a look where are the potential targets of this dump that is still ongoing. Yesterday of course we also have covered this potential crash that could have happened and what we are seeing right now. And of course, we're also going to have a look into Ethereum. So I know my friends, today is a bad day. We have a bloodbath overall the crypto market, even in the stock market, everything is still in red today. But uh, this is the time where you just have to buy the dip, my friends, or stay calm and just ignore the charts if you're just hodling through. Because, of course, uh, when we're seeing 10, 20 percent of uh, drops, uh, that is bad, that is hard. But this is uh, how the crypto life is and you should get used to it as soon as possible because we cannot go just straight to the moon without any corrections and pullbacks. That's why when we are seeing these big dumps, make sure that you're taking some good long and of course some good buy opportunities so for the long term you will be doing very fine you should be always FOMO into Bitcoin or into your specific coin when we are seeing these big dumps and of course take profits when we are seeing these parabolic moves like we have seen here in the last couple of days up to $58,000 so right now here in the four hour time frame, as you can see, we are dropping, we are falling below all the moving averages. And the last one that can save us is here right at $42,000. As I told you yesterday, my friends, right here at the 200 moving average at 42,000. This was also our previous highs and now they should hold as a strong support. If $42,000 will not hold. So if here we're not going to see a big bounce again to the upside and continue our upwards trend here in the four hour time frame then I'm pretty confident that we could even fall towards 30k but as long as we're trading here above the 200 moving average in the four hour everything is good to go to the upside even though of course this uh, correction is hard to take and you should be strong and try to buy all you can on the way to the downside. Here in my own indicator, you can see that the RSI is coming into very oversold condition. Also, we could get very soon a buy signal, but still nothing is flashing. So that means that we still have to wait, especially for the bigger time frames, like the daily time frame to hit another buy signal. Until then, I wouldn't touch it. I would just wait for buy signals and of course, also confirmations of support. So then we can start again too long and buy more Bitcoin. And now if we go over here into the daily time frame, I just want to show you the Fibonacci retracement based on the last dip that we had here. We came down towards $28,000 and then we started this parabolic move towards $58,000. And until now, we never had a pullback or a correction to also confirm these new supports that we have below of us. So this is now the first time that we're seeing this pullback and of course also healthy correction. And we just have to look where we could face some good support and bounce levels to then go straight long and of course also buy more Bitcoin and based on my experience Bitcoin always retraces back down to the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement after such a parabolic move and that would mean that we still have to go down towards this $42,000 area so this previous highs which now should be acting as a new support so what you're seeing right now is that the price came only down here between the 0.382 and the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level that of course is very bullish because that means that we are more bullish than bearish even though of course a complete retracement down towards the 0.618 is possible but if we're not coming down to these levels down here that means that the bulls are still too strong so the bears cannot bring the price down towards this level where then we should see a big bounce to the upside and this is also where the 50 daily moving average is lining up exactly where also previously we had a big bounce after this top of $42,000 and then the drop down to $28,000. So if we are seeing the same thing like we had over here, so if here we're going to top out for now and we're going to have a correction, then for sure here at the 50 daily moving average at 40k, we're going to have some buy pressure and there we should expect at least a bounce to the upside. It is also possible that then this dump is over and we will continue our bull trend to the upside towards 100k, but I'm 
I'm pretty confident that we're gonna revisit this $42,000 pretty soon. Also in my own indicator, you can see that right now the momentum shifted to the downside clearly. The RSI now is coming to the 50 level. So we are in a very critical point. If we are not seeing here a bounce to the upside, we could easily go here below the 50 level in the RSI. And therefore then we have a lot of room left to the downside until we could see a bottom because in the worst case scenario if here the 50 daily will not hold then we have to start to look here for these targets between the 100 and 200 daily moving average for the worst case so between 30,000 and 22,000 dollar i don't think it is very likely that we will crash down to those levels but if the 50 daily will not hold if we are not having a big bounce here at 42,000 dollar then things could really start to look way more bearish uh, than we fought at least for the short to mid term for the long term we know already that bitcoin will go way above 100k but at least here for the short to mid term we could face uh, some more dumps until we're gonna continue our bull market and keep in mind that usually bitcoin during a bull market always bounces at the 9 or 20 weekly moving average the nine weekly is right here also at 42 thousand dollars this is why i'm expecting here a huge bounce otherwise if we continue to drop here the 20 weekly moving average at $28,000 so at around 30k where also the 100 daily moving average is lining up I think there at least there we should see a big bounce to the upside otherwise things could really start to look uh, really bearish but uh, since Bitcoin is still in an uptrend and money flow is still positive everything is pointing out that we're going to see continuation to the upside and latest here at those two points here the most important moving averages for Bitcoin during an uptrend the nine weekly and 20 weekly moving average must hold otherwise uh, things could really start to look uh, way more bearish so for now this dump is still ongoing I'm expecting $42,000 to be reached I probably also going to buy some more bitcoin at $42,000 and if we're gonna crash below then the next buy order will be here at 30k I don't think 30k is very likely but of course it is also possible so right now I would just stay on the sideline and wait here for good buy signals and of course also for good support confirmations in the four hour and daily time frame before you're entering new trades or buy more Bitcoin because right now during a dump you would just try to catch a falling knife and that is very very dangerous so I would wait at least the here for this $42,000 retest it can happen today or maybe during the week but I'm pretty confident that if here we're gonna close this four hour candle below the 100 moving average in a four hour that we will for sure come down here to retest this $42,000 and then hopefully there have a big bounce to the upside and if we go over to Ethereum here you can see that right now we are dropping below the 200 moving average in the four hour and that of course uh, is uh, very bearish because that could indicate that we will enter into a downtrend here in the lower time frames and we could expect ethereum to drop below $1,400 so ethereum currently in, is in a very risky point right now we are also right at the 50 daily moving average so as long as we are able to close daily candles at least above the 50 or even better above the 20 daily moving average here at $1,800 then I think uh, we're gonna continue to go to the upside but if here ethereum is gonna start to create these uh, daily closes below the 20 and 50 daily moving average then things could really start to get ugly here because then we could even drop here also uh, down to the 100 or 200 daily moving average so between 1000 and 720 dollars which also previously acted as a very strong resistance and now we should be having it as a very strong support and we can also do here a fibonacci retracement based from the last dip that we had here up to the top and uh, you can see that right now ethereum exactly bounced at the 0.618 fibonacci retracement at 1340 so ethereum for now reached the target that they have also for bitcoin the 0.618 fibonacci retracement let's hope that ethereum will not go lower if ethereum is going lower and close daily candles below 1330 dollar then I'm afraid that we could see here continuation down towards 1000 maybe even towards 720 
dollars. Uh, let's wait and see where we're going to close uh, today here on the Ethereum price. And of course, also here for Bitcoin, we have to close at least above the 20 daily moving average. So above $48,000 in order to have a chance to have a big bounce to the upside and then continue our way towards 60K and higher. But if today we're going to close below the nine daily moving average and also below the 20 daily moving average, then we're going to have the confirmation that we will drop at least towards the 50 daily moving average at 42,000 and then hopefully have a big bounce to the upside. Otherwise, the bearish scenario is that we could drop even down towards this 30k area. So be patient, my friends, stay calm, buy the dip, don't go and panic sell. You, of course, can always take a little bit of profits or some cash out. Not everything, but at least a little bit if you have no cash on the sideline for the bearish scenario. So if you have completely no fiat on the sideline, it's not maybe a bad idea to have a little bit of reserves on the side, but never go all in or all out because like this at the end, you will lose money for sure. And also, this is, of course, a good example example my friends this dump that we're seeing right now that the trend is always where bitcoin is going because if bitcoin is pumping all the other altcoins they are also pumping sometimes even outperforming bitcoin but when bitcoin is falling like we're seeing today 13 percent the altcoins will fall even more so as you can see also today we have altcoins that are dropping 20 30 40 percent and that is normal for altcoins so altcoins sometimes outperform bitcoin during an uptrend but when we are crashing then the altcoins will crash even more so that's why i'm always telling you my friends if you're doing gains with altcoins convert it then as soon as possible back into bitcoin or into fiat if you have no fiat reserves because you always should have a good balance between invested money and also money that you can immediately use it to buy stuff or also to buy the dips so if you're not prepared now for the scenario that we could even drop towards 30k or $42,000, then you should have some cash on the sideline. Maybe just take a couple of percentages out just in case for the bearish scenario. But also if here we're going to bottom out and continue our uptrend that you are fine with your hodl position and you don't have to FOMO in back again once we're going to go above 60 Okay. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you're interested in getting my own indicator for your trading view or also the direct access to the live stream here on Discord, then make sure to contact me on Discord with a private message. You can join our Discord trading chat completely for free. Shout out to all the members there. You can click this invitation link in the video description. Then when you're joining here the Discord trading chat, you go to read first, confirm that you are a human by clicking here this thumbs up button and then you have free access to the trading chat and if you want to get this indicator you have to right click my name here alessandro the crypto and send me a private message because to get access to the live stream here on discord or to get the indicator for trading view you need to give a little donation and like this then of course i send you everything i set up the access for you and send you the code like this you can also use then this buy and sell signal indicator for bitcoin of course it is also working for other assets other coins even in the stock market you can use it but of course uh, since the crypto market is more volatile you can do way more trades with this indicator since we have this nice volatility here in the crypto space so if you like the content my friends hit that like button also check out all the referral links down below here to all recommended exchanges with my invitation links you will get also some extra money and extra bonus if you use them especially the ones for coinbase so Swiss Borg and Binance. Currently on Coinbase, we have some new slots here to claim some free altcoins by just clicking here these invitation links only for Coinbase users. And if you want to try out Swiss Borg, that is a very great exchange with very, very low fees to buy and sell Bitcoin and of course also other cryptos. Use my referral link to download the app because with this link, you can get up to 100 euro or dollar in extra money with your first purchase. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel, my friends. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.